what's the point in having what I desire if I don't have anybody to share it with? The truth is, there are a lot of things I want to do and have, but if I have to abandon those guys to get them, then I'd rather have nothing. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we will be examining the fiery navigator of the Straw Hats, Nami. Nami is a slim orange haired girl with a perpetually growing bust who first appeared in the series during the Orange Town arc. She was initially presented as a thief and a very successful thief at that. However, as time went on in the East Blue Saga, it would be discovered that Nami's true passion lies within the world of cartography and navigation, and that she actually held a very ambitious dream of one day being able to make a map of the entire world. However, Nami had suffered an extraordinarily tragic past that had prevented her from pursuit of this dream. Nami and her sister Nojiko were orphans who were found on a battlefield by a marine named Belmare. She adopted the two and settled down in Kokoyashi Village, part of the Konami Islands. As Nami grew, she discovered her passion for drawing. However, Belmare was quite poor and unable to afford many of the things Nami wanted, leading Nami to steal books on navigation and thus planting the seeds for her future skills as a thief. Despite this, Belmare did everything she could to support Nami and her passions. However, on one especially bad day, Nami threw a particularly large tantrum and ran off. This also happened to be the day that the fisherman pirate Arlong had arrived. Arlong swiftly commandeered the Konami Islands and demanded a fee for the lives of each adult and child, which resulted in Belmare being able to secure the lives of Nami and Nojiko, but being unable to pay for her own. Belmare was then murdered by Arlong right in front of Nami, who, after her drawing skills were recognized, was also then kidnapped and forced to draw maps for the Arlong pirates. Shortly after, Nami struck a deal with Arlong, being that if she brought him 100 million berries, then he would free Kokoyashi Village. And so, Nami became a thief, and for most of her formative years, she frequently traveled around East Blue stealing treasure from pirates, saving up for the day when she would finally be able to buy her village back. At the age of 18, Nami encountered Luffy and Zoro in Orange Town, and although they got off to a rocky start due to Luffy and Zoro being pirates, after the confrontation with Buggy the Clown, Nami agreed to partner up with them. And that went pretty well, until Nami betrayed them on the floating restaurant of Baratier, stealing the Going Merry and all associated treasure on board. The Straw Hats pursued her, much to Nami's annoyance. However, when Arlong teamed up with an agent of the Marines to betray their deal, Nami broke down and reluctantly asked Luffy for help. Which he did, wham bam, shark down. And Nami felt freedom for the first time in her adult life. From this point on, Nami officially joined the Straw Hat crew as their navigator and led them over Reverse Mountain and into the Grand Line. During this journey, Nami's skills as a navigator have been highlighted as nothing short of extraordinary, and she has been even said to have a supernatural ability to sense weather changes within her body, which has proven to be a life-saving skill in the otherwise unpredictable Grand Line. And despite now being officially a pirate, Nami still engages in the odd act of thievery and has even earned the epithet of Cat Burglar Nami. As a result of her experience in what we'll call the financial sector, Nami also acts as the treasurer of the crew, budgeting everything from clothes to food. And on some occasions, she also acts as a bank, willing to lend the crew members money at an absurdly high interest rate, usually roughly around 300%. In fact, generally, Nami acts more like the leader of the Straw Hats than Luffy does most of the time. She is arguably the smartest member of the crew, and while the Straw Hats are aboard their ship, Nami holds absolute authority, with the one exception being the choice of destination, which is mandated by Luffy. Although even when the Straw Hats are on land, Nami continues to be the most serious and clear thinker, often violently scolding other members of the crew for their stupid ideas. In addition to this, Nami has developed her own style of combat over the course of the journey, known as the Art of Weather. This style focuses on Nami's creative use of a device invented by Usopp known as the Climatact. Although it was originally invented for party tricks, Nami's incredible knowledge of weather has led her to form devastating attacks using elements such as wind and lightning, which have only become more potent and destructive as upgraded versions of the Climatact have been provided to Nami by Usopp. Using these abilities, Nami has been able to overcome opponents such as Miss Doublefinger, and even more impressively, Kalifa, an agent of CP9 who possessed a mastery of the Rokushiki. And all of this has no doubt contributed to the 16 million berry bounty issued on Nami's head by the world government prior to the time skip. Speaking of, after the Straw Hats were forcibly separated by Bartholomew Kuma, Nami found herself on the sky island of Weatheria, where she spent two years learning about the strange weather of the new world, as well as the scientific advancements made by the citizens of the island. And when the Straw Hats were finally reunited, Nami brought an incredible arsenal of knowledge with her, allowing the crew to journey 10,000 meters below the sea to Fishman Island, as well as 
far into the most dangerous stretch of water on the planet, the New World. Throughout all of this, Nami has also demonstrated far greater combative and analytical abilities, which have proven essential for the survival of the crew, earning her a bounty of 66 million berries, as well as a huge step forward toward her dream of eventually being able to create a map of the entire world. Some more fun facts about Nami. Nami is one of the very rare characters in the series who has been entrusted with Luffy's straw hat, and in fact one of the very, very rare characters who has held onto it on more than one occasion. As of the most recent fan poll, Nami ranks as the most popular female character, as well as the eighth most popular character in the series as a whole. Although she is physically one of the weakest members of the crew, Nami often displays the extraordinary ability to actually hurt Luffy. When questioned about why this is, Oda claims it's because Nami has the power to beat up Luffy's spirit. Ouch. Nami's birthday is on July 3rd, which is a direct reference to her name, as 7 and 3 can be pronounced as Na and Mi, respectively. Furthermore, Nami itself, when spelt with the kanji rather than the katakana, can mean wave, which is very appropriate for a maritime navigator. Interestingly enough, Nami is the only person to have invited somebody to join the Straw Hats before Luffy, which occurred during the Drum Island arc when she proposed that Chopper join them on their adventure. And finally, a truly useless fact. Nami has a particular distaste for orange jets, which are candy pieces of orange dipped in chocolate and claims that if she wants fruit, she will just eat regular fruit. And that pretty much does it for Nami. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel, then also please feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the always handy description below. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.